What's up guys, it's Alexander Travelbum. Uh, today I just wanted to talk a little bit about my volunteering experience in Central America with World Packers. And as you can probably see, I'm not in Costa Rica anymore. I am in sunny California. So I just really wanted to tell you guys about the experience, about the people I met, the things I did, where I was, because it was very cool. So you're gonna wanna hear this. But first, let me get some coffee. So firstly, people always ask, how did I find this place? Because uh, my experience was a bit different and it's something that you can't just find anywhere. And so I found this opportunity through this company called World Packers. World Packers is a website or a platform that connects volunteers with hosts volunteering hosts all around the world. There are a bunch of different opportunities, everything you can imagine. I think you need a platform like this in order to find these places that are really rural and they're usually a little bit off the beaten path. I'll go into a little bit more details about World Packers later, but let me talk about the experience first. So I decided to go to Central America, to Costa Rica, and this place was called Isla Violin, which is a small area, a small island where only a few families live so it's very rural there are no grocery stores there's nothing but just this family everything you eat is something that they cook for you and they get almost all of it from their farm and from the jungle around them so it's just amazing they're pretty much self-sustainable they get their power from solar from solar panels on the roof so this place is truly one of a kind so basically it's these five or six cabanas in the middle of the jungle and I just I really need to show you this place so you stay in these cabanas and the walls are just this mesh material so you can see the outside you can see the jungle around you but from the outside you can't see in uh, people always ask me about that <laughs> so it's good because you feel like you're right there in the jungle it's like you're camping you can hear all the sounds you can see all the everything that comes by if a sloth wants to come say hi, like, you can say hi to him <laughs> or her. Isla Violin is just one of the most beautiful places that I've ever been, and I got to spend a week there. I could have spent more, so if you want to go to Isla Violin, you can go for two weeks or three weeks or something like that. Okay, so the work. People ask about the work. So one thing I did was I helped build this path out of coconuts, <laughs> out of halved coconuts. So it's the rainy season right now, so they really have a problem with this mud. It's kind of hard to walk everywhere. They gave me these rubber boots so that I could walk around, trudge through the jungle, trudge through the mud, and you really have to wear these to walk around right now. So we took these halved coconuts and we placed them in the mud and built kind of like a cobblestone path, like something you would see in Europe. So it's just much easier to walk on those coconuts when, when it's muddy. So one thing I did for a few days when I was there is I had to hack away at this wall and move good strong land and rock toward the dock where you enter this place. Because at the dock, because of the constantly shifting tide, the high and low tide, Whenever the tide is low, which is you know, most of the day, a bunch of mud is exposed. So when guests show up to this place, Isla Violin is actually an eco-lodge. People show up and it's kind of hard to walk through there because it's, it's all mud. So we started building this pathway out of this better land, this rock and some palms, so that even when the tide comes in and goes over that land, this good land will will stay there and there will be a little pathway so that you can get to the cabanas a little easier. Okay, so another pivotal and important part about a volunteering experience like this is the people. So you want to volunteer somewhere where you're going to like the people, where you're going to feel safe and feel welcome. They're some of the nicest people. They cooked a variety of meals. Every night we had something different. They taught me whatever they could about their lifestyle, about the area, about Costa Rica. And, you know, there was a language barrier because I only speak uh, un pequeño español, only a little bit. Most of the family there, they don't speak that much. So it wasn't that easy to communicate, but it was also, it was pretty fun. <laughs> we were laughing at each other a lot because we were saying the wrong things and it was just, it was fun. So, World Packers. This is also kind of a review of World Packers, uh, the company that allowed me to do this. And 
I have nothing bad to say. I have all good things to say. I had an incredible experience. It was very easy. So all I had to do was I signed up and then I reached out to maybe five, six or seven hosts around Central America in all these different countries. And I think all of them got back to me. Maybe one didn't get back to me, but they all were really open to having me uh, to having me volunteer there. So World Packers is great because you can feel safe. They they have a process where they verify their hosts. So you're not just gonna go on the platform and find somebody who uh, you know who they haven't verified, who they haven't spoken to yet, and made sure that it's a safe place, it's a good experience. And so that's something that makes World Packers different from some of the other ones out there. One question that people always ask that they really want to know is how much does it cost? A lot of people look for volunteering experiences and they can't believe that it costs $2,000 or $3,000 to go and volunteer somewhere. Like, <laughs> shouldn't it be free or nearly free? I think so. And so World Packers, it's a $49 membership for the year, which is actually very, very cheap if you think about it. The host is going to give you a place to stay, they're going to provide you with food. Usually once you get there, all your expenses are covered. And if you travel at all, you'll know that <laughs> typically between accommodation and food and transportation and all that, you're usually going to be spending that anyway within less than a day, <laughs> depending where you are, or within a couple days you'll be spending $49. Uh, but you can stay somewhere for a month with World Packers or stay multiple places the whole year and still it's only that $49 fee. And I've talked to World Packers and they gave me a promo code which is Alex Travel Bum. So if you click my link below or if you put in that promo code, you'll get 40% off. I'm really bad at math, but... <laughs> But $49, 40% off, you know, you'll probably spend $25 for the year, and that is not much at all. <laughs> like, that's like a hostel and a meal, and that's for the whole year. So, really, really, really worth it. I had a great experience, and you will too. Please check out World Packers, check out all the experiences all over the world. Anywhere you want to go, they'll probably have something for you. Really, you should try volunteering if you have the time. You should volunteer and give back a little bit. Leave some comments below. Let me know. Ask me any questions about this. I want to get a conversation going about volunteer and travel. Please like this video so that more people see it and more people volunteer around the world and help people out. And I will see you in the next video.